one more topic, which is two plus two equals five. You didn't know this. Well, a mathematician, let me just, his name is Kareem Kaur. He is a statistics PhD student, I guess student, statistics PhD student at Harvard, not at any, you know, BS school. Data science, science communication, and nerdy jokes, MSc, math, MA stats. So very, very, very well-educated guy in math and statistics. Posted this on Twitter. I don't know who needs to hear this, but if someone says 2 plus 2 equals 5, the correct response is, what are your definitions and axioms? Not a rant about the decline of Western civilization. Let me read that to you again. I don't know who needs to hear this, but if someone says 2 plus 2 equals 5, the correct response is, what are your definitions and axioms? Not a rant about the decline of Western civilization. What do you even do with that? The answer to this is no, no, no. If you have a set of definitions and axioms that make any kind of sense where 2 plus 2 equals 5, it is on you to present them. 2 plus 2 equals 4. 2, the number 2, represents 1, 2, like in fingers, two fingers. 2 plus another 2 is four fingers. That is the meaning, the literal meaning of 2 plus 2 equals 5. Now, it's true that you, in certain mathematical contexts, 2 plus 2 might equal something else. Like in group theory, 2 groups plus 2 groups might equal 1 group if they all merge together. But that's not 2 plus 2 equals 5. That's 2 groups plus 2 groups equals 1 group in group theory. There are other forms of math. There are other contexts of math. There are other axioms and definitions in which 2 plus 2 might not equal 4, but it's not 2 plus 2. The burden is on you who make the claim that 2 plus 2 equals 5 to present the reasons for it. And to the extent that you are teaching children that 2 plus 2 equals 5, then that is the decline of Western civilization. That is exactly the decline of Western civilization. I mean, there are two vectors. You can say two vectors of a particular magnitude and another two vectors equal something other than 4. But again, that is a completely different context. And it's your responsibility as an educator as a mathematician, as an explainer, to set the context. But 2 plus 2 equals 4 is always and everywhere the right answer, unless you have set a different context. And again, if you're teaching children who are trying to grasp the very basics of arithmetic, and the source of where numbers come from. Numbers don't come from axioms and definitions. They come from observation of things and our need to count. Now, yes, there's axioms there as well. But if you create that kind of cognitive confusion among kids, where every time somebody says the number two they have to ask, oh, but what axioms are you using and what definitions? Then you are responsible for the death and decline of Western civilization because you are teaching kids not to think. You're teaching things anti-thinking. You're teaching kids conceptual confusion. So if you are writing a PhD, come up with a way in which one could understand 2 plus 2 is equaling something other than 4. Great. Good for you. I don't know what it's used for. Maybe there is a use for it. But the burden is always on you to explain why you are doing it, what the purpose is, and that you're not using 2 plus 2 in the sense of the way arithmetic uses them, the way reality the way we learn it from reality. 
This is new math. This is complete rationalism detached from reality. And this is indeed representative of the decline of Western civilization. Um, anyway, this has created a flurry of hundreds, maybe thousands of tweets back and forth. The tweet itself has 70, 735 likes. Um, they are, you know, uh, um, and uh, 135 retweets and a lot of comments, a lot of comments, both pro and anti. So this is woke culture, I guess, where math is not math, arithmetic is not arithmetic, reality isn't reality anymore. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think, meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder. Please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now. Uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. It, all it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there. Help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share. And uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.